Good day everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about bamboo crafts in Heli 5 subject. Okay? But before we will deepen our discussion, let us read first our learning objectives. Okay. So at the end of the lesson, the students are able to enumerate the different kinds of bamboos. The second one, the students are able to identify tools and finishing materials used in bamboo craft. So these are the learning objectives that we need to attain at the end of the discussion. Okay, so let's start. What is a bamboo craft? Okay, so take a look at this picture. This is an example of a bamboo. Bamboos are found in all parts of the subtropical region of the world, particularly in Asia and South America. And in the Philippines, they grow in all parts of the archipelago, such as shores, plains, forests, hillsides, and even mountains. And this is an example of a bamboo craft. Take a look at the picture. Okay, so bamboo crafts are craft items made from a bamboo. A range of items can be handcrafted from bamboo and it is often needing few or basic tools. Okay. So there are characteristics of bamboos. Take a look at this picture. Okay. So these are an example of a bamboos. So one of the characteristics of bamboos is it belongs to the grass family and their stems or cones are cylindrical and generally hollow and separated by partitions or joints and that is called the nodes. The space in between the nodes is called internode. The thickness of the cones and the length of the internodes vary in different species. And bamboos are also flexible because they have pliant fibers that grow from their stems. They can be split into tiny pieces and bent without breaking. And the best time to harvest bamboos is during the dry season. Okay? So these are the characteristics of bamboos. Now let's proceed to the kinds of bamboo. So there are 32 recorded species of bamboos in the Philippines. But among the identified erect bamboo species are the following. Okay, the first one is Bambusa spinos or also known as kawayang tinig. This is what Bambusa spinos look like. Okay. So in this kind of bamboo, it is the second highest bamboo. And it may reach the height of 24 to 28 meters and has a diameter of about 8 to 10 centimeters. Okay. And it is best for building purposes because of its length. And it is also used in making baskets, hats, shuttles, and paper pulp. Okay, so next we have Bagtu or Skitsus Takyum. Okay, so this is Bagtu look like. Okay, can you see the difference among the others? The other kinds of bamboo okay so bagto is uh, the internodes of these kinds of bamboo are good materials for chairs sawali or bamboo matting and can it can also make uh, flutes waving loom and a paper 
So this is bagto, one of the kinds of bam bamboo. Okay, another one we have gigantocloa. Okay, so this is gigantocloa. Looks like uh, it reaches a height of 43 meters, and it comes having width of 50 50 millimeters, and it is used for water pipes, fish traps and as a wall for houses okay so this is gigantocloa one of the kinds of a bamboo another kind of bamboo is dendrocalamus species okay so this is dendrocalamus species look like okay so it is used for construction purposes vehicle shafts and ropes okay as you can see there is a difference from this uh, kinds of bamboo from the other bamboo okay as, as what have you observed the internodes and the nodes are quite closer rather than the other kinds of bamboo and this, that is why it is a very hard kinds of bamboo and it is good for vehicle shops and the roofs. Another one we have Kawayang China. Okay, so this is Kawayang China look like. The clumps of these bamboos are usually from 1 to 3 meters in height. The clumps are up to 3 centimeters in diameters. Okay. Another kinds of bamboo is what we call boho. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This kind of bamboo represents the third group of bamboos, and it is usually tall and straight. The stems are oracled and hairy, and it is used for fish traps for carrying water and other purposes next is bical okay so this is what bical looks like this kind of bamboo is a climbing species characterized by having its flower in dense widely scattered leaves the larger of which are about two centimeter in diameter okay so this is what we call the bical one of the kinds of a bamboo next one we also have bayou okay so this is what bayou looks like can you see the difference between the other kinds of bamboo these kinds of bamboo is quite tall graceful with slender stalks forming large clump the clumps have thick wall and prominent nodes okay see so it can be also uh, used for uh, weaving loom and any other bamboo crafts okay so another one we also have zigzag bamboo okay so this species is an evergreen stem attaining a height of 30 meters and a diameter of 2.5 centimeters okay so this is what we call zigzag bamboo and the last one we have dwarf bamboo okay so this is a small shrubby species from 1 to 3 meters tall and the stems are about to 2 centimeters in diameter. Okay, take a look at this kind of bamboo. It is a very short bamboo. And that is why it is called dwarf bamboo. Okay, so those are the kinds of bamboo uh, that is being identified 
erect bamboo species in the Philippines. Okay. In making a bamboo craft, there are tools and materials that need to be used in it. It is important to know the tools needed before doing any craft. Because getting familiar with the uses of these tools will result in well-accomplished projects. And knowing the proper functions of these tools will enable a craftsman to discover the causes of some errors in the finished work. So that the succeeding jobs will be more accurate and precise. So the first tools in making a bamboo craft is bolo so this is what bolo looks like it is a long single edge knife and it is used to cut wood and similar materials it is an important tool in making a bamboo craft okay so it is used to cut the bamboos here one we have cross-cut saw. So this is what cross-cut saw looks like. It is a hand saw used for cutting bamboos across the grain. Okay, so the third one, the third one we have the coping saw. It is used for cutting exterior and interior curves on a bamboo strips okay so these types of saw is used for making a design of your bamboo craft another one dovetail saw so this is dovetail saw look like it has a straight handle like chisel and it is used to cut thin strips of bamboo and make small wood points okay so next we have triangular file take a look at the picture that is an example of a triangular file it is a hardened steel tool in the form of bar used for something out of the rough edges of bamboo. So that is triangular file. Next, next is jack plane. Jack plane, it is a general purpose bench plane and it is used for smoothening out of the surface of bamboos and sticks okay take note jack plane is used for smoothening out of the surface of bamboos and sticks so that is the uses of a jack plane next one is the spoke shape spoke shape it is a small transverse plane with end handles and it is used to clean curves edges of a bamboos so that is the uses of spoke shapes to clean the curves of a bamboo so next next is the claw hammer okay so claw hammer it is a tool used for driving and pulling out nails and it is made of a high quality steel so that is claw hammer Next one is Malay. Okay, so this is known as wooden hammer. Okay, as what uh, have you observed in the picture? It looks like a claw hammer, but it is made of wood. Okay, it is made of made out of hard wood, and it is handled is its handled is fastened securely with edges and it is used for driving chisel okay for claw hammer it is used for driving and pulling out of nails for the malay it is used for 
driving chisel not for nails okay next next is the pliers okay there are different types of pliers so there are used these are used for cutting and bending wires they are also used for holding smaller shells okay so pliers can also used for cutting for bending or for holding so there are different types of plier pliers okay next next is hand drill okay it is also used for me in making a bamboo craft it is a small portable drilling machine designed to be held and operated by hand and used to bore holes through materials and to prevent cracking when a screw, nail, or drawel is driven through the holes. Okay, so this is the uses of a hand drill. It is one of the most important tools or materials in making a bamboo craft. Last one we have the pocket knife. Pocket knife is used for scrapping and cleaning bamboo materials. Okay, so that is the uses of a pocket knife. So those are the tools and materials that needs that need to be used in making a bamboo craft. Now let's proceed to. The finishing materials okay so finishing materials is the last step in the completion of a project it is the final method of beautifying the project okay so here are the some finishing materials commonly used in bamboo craft the first one is the sand paper okay this is a paper covered on one side with sand or other abrasive materials such as silica or flint quartz and it is used to smoothen the rough surfaces edges or ends of articles made from a bamboo so this is what we call the sandpaper one of the finishing materials next one we have the shellac okay shellac is a resinous substance substance that come from the excreta of the lock bag and it is good adhesive for projects because it is easy to apply and dry fast so that is shellac next one is varnish okay so this is the common finishing materials Varnish is one of the finest finishing of finishing for articles and it can be spread thinly to the projects. Okay. So try to look at the picture. Okay, so that is varnish. Next one for finishing materials we have also a paint. Okay. It is also important because it is composed of pigments, ve vehicle thinner, and dryer. It comes in different colors and various quantities like flat tone or enamel. So it is used, paint is used to beautify the project or the bamboo craft. And the last one we have lacquer okay lacquer is a synthetic product that is largely used for finishing manufactured articles and it helps to retain the natural color of the material on which it is applied so those are the finishing materials that is commonly used in making a bamboo craft okay take note finishing materials is a method or it is a last step 
in the completion of a project and it is the time or it is the method of being um, this is a method of beautifying your project or your bamboo craft okay so if you have uh, some questions regarding this uh, discussion kindly direct your concern to your assigned teacher okay so before let uh, before we will end this discussion you need to answer this following activity okay write it in a whole sheet of paper enumerate the following enumerate the kinds of bamboos number two enumerate the commonly used materials for furnishing bamboo okay so i hope you learned something for this discussion thank you for watching goodbye everyone